If your first instinct is to use quadratic formula here, your brain is broken. You have been brainwashed by the math industrial complex, okay? Yeah, you could. That's what the question is trying to get you to do. That's what the answer choices are kind of leading you into. But like, why? Just go to Desmos here. Let them solve this for you. What they're going to basically do is if we graph this, we're going to get two uh, vertical lines. So let's just turn the W's into X's. That's all we have to do. So X, um, let's tap here, X squared, X squared plus 12 X minus 40. Now, if you keep it like this, what you're going to get is a parabola with um, X intercepts. And so the X intercepts are what we care about. But here I'm just going to go with equal zero and it should work fine that I get some uh, some messy numbers. So I'm gonna write them down. So one is 2.718, and I gotta zoom. There's gonna be another somewhere. There it is. Uh, it is negative 14.718. So let's look at our answers again. Uh, some of them are negative, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. Basically what I would do now is I would just try these answers as decimals. And normally I would probably use this calculator because it's easier for me to type, but I'll use the decimals once we can see what's going on. So let's just do six minus um, two radical nine, so two. And then if you type S Q R T, it's gonna automatically make it into a square root. And then that gives me a decimal, but notice it's close to one of them, right? It's close to the top one, but it's the wrong symbol, right? It's two, uh, it's negative 2.718, uh, basically. So that's wrong because it got the wrong sign. But this is why if you do the, you know, quadratic formula or try to factor this thing, you're gonna have some trouble because you could lose a negative very easily in that process. Here, we don't have to worry about it. Desmos is not gonna lose a negative for us. Um, so let's just continue. Um, let's do two radical 19, since that's right there. Well, that's 8.71, that's clearly wrong. And then radical 19 is 4.35. Well, we don't have that number anywhere, so that's wrong. So it's probably D, but we can also prove it pretty easily. So that's negative six and then plus two root 19, and that is 2.718 and it's positive, so it's the right value, so there we go. So where'd the other solution go? Well, it just wasn't part of the, the, the story here. It's okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I would not try to deal with the quadratic formula here. If you really want a review of it, remember it's gonna be uh, negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two A. So we gotta plug in, we got our A is one, B is 12, C is negative 40, so that's negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 12 squared minus four times one times negative 40 all over two times one. So that's negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 plus 160 all over two. So that's negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 204 all over two. And now what? Now what do you do? Right now you gotta divide by two clearly. I mean, I guess you could see it. You, you could probably see, okay, I got a negative six, I've got a plus or minus. So at this point you might be done, but I don't know, I, I, it still feels risky. I mean, what we're supposed to do is reduce the radical, right? And be like, okay, what goes into 204? Well, four does, and then 204 divided by four is 51. Ugh, really? So is this even gonna work? Am I wrong here? Yeah, because 144 plus 160 is not 204, it's 304. See, this is why you don't want to do this. So 304 divided by 4 is 76, and then 76 divided by 4 is 19. So you got to pull those out. So it's negative 12 plus or minus 4 root 19 over 2. And now, and only now, can we divide both or all the parts by two to get negative six plus or minus two root 19 over one, which is choice D. I mean, if I haven't convinced you that Desmos is better, I think there's something wrong with you. You've been, again, brainwashed by the math industrial complex. This is just crazy, not worth your time. There's a little bit of a shortcut, but even that I wouldn't trust it. This is the hard module. Then we're at no question nine. There could be traps. So better off to just let the, com the computer do it for us, save the time, save the brain power, and guarantee the points.